Greetings everybody, it is I, the Doom Lord, and welcome back to my channel, and also welcome back to Dying Light. So in the last episode we got to know Rice, and uh, we got a few uh, few quests from there, like actually just one quest. Um, they told us to activate some sensors on these antenna towers, and then we kind of got stuck after entering this uh, perimeter and not this. Okay, I got an idea now. <laughs> but I have to get rid of this infected first. <laughs> that hurt. It's mostly my feelings, but still. <laughs> yeah, look at that. What the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. Clever man. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? trying to stay alive here. That, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So we work for them. That's how we stay safe. Think too much with your mouth, Christophe. Yeah, it tells you a lot about the situation here. I'm kind of feeling sorry for those guys. I mean, I get that uh, there are situations like this in real life already, like uh, third world countries and stuff, but still. This is always something that uh, that kind of bothers me in situations like these with, uh, with, with uh, sure zombie this scenarios. fucking climb was worth it. Like you, you would think that they would rather pull their efforts to stay alive, right? Instead of just killing everyone who doesn't obey. What? Oh wait, is it? Ah, uh, I don't know. Do we have to jump on that thingy? Oh. Okay, let's see. Um, I think that is where we have to go, but it didn't seem like I could latch on to that. Okay, I can. I just took my chance there. Still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Yes, I do. Uh, but I will take the small detour to the tower and deliver my uh, survival packages that I grabbed in the last episode. Oh, SOS, that looks good. Reminds me a bit of Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> I think it just landed on someone. Hey. What are you looking this for? This guy again. Something I can use for a 
When the army takes over this place, we're going to need plenty of them. That's something we can see. Amputations. Rai's get a kick out of it. Wondering how I know? That motherfucker kept me locked in a cage for three weeks. I saw plenty. Sometimes it was like he was experimenting. Seeing what would do the job best, you know? Machete. Axe. Shotgun. Hell. He took this one guy's leg off at the knee and had to... Okay, so what's the deal with him? What's he doing now? Was that all? Like, does he just tell me that Rise amputates people? <laughs> Fine then. Be the zombie snack again, I don't care. Survivor, no, I hope he doesn't run into the big guy. Don't just know. It is the Frankenstein monster. Be careful. Okay, Frankenstein monster. I approach this I'm bailing out of here. That actually went well, hey, wait for me, man. Brothers, what? You keep killing. I will keep going. Let me repair my weapons, man. Okay. Okay, got at least one metal part back again. <sighs> Is he going near to the tower? What's going on with him? Is he like uh, this this werewolf guy on all levels except physical? I'm a wolf. <laughs> Garlic, the first ingredient. Good. We can move on. Now you're looking more human already. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess crazy people. The bane of wolves. Now, the final ingredient. I guess crazy Let's people go. are not a rarity. Bar, in this how did you situation. become a werewolf? Okay. Oh, uh, the usual way. Not much to do. <laughs> Easy. But my hammer is nearly broken again, yeah. There. A teaspoon of cinnamon. I have everything I need. Now, I will cure myself of this terrible curse. Okay. You may fire when ready. Where is he going now? Oh, it worked. He's so strong, he just like crushed this, uh, this fence. Question. Craft a lot of them, wow. Okay, that's enough for now. Oh, this one trait I got is really kicking in. I got eight medkits from, I think, four attempts. Me, my dude. I broke my hammer while doing that. What's the point of the airdrops? Thank you, sir. You have saved countless lives. Exorcist blueprint. No doubt. Thanks for the surprise. So you beat rise to the airdrop, huh? Now that's impressive. Let me check that real quick. Exorcist. Bleeding and electricity. If I were to put that on my hammer now. Uh, but it decreases the durability so much. Or does it? Like all of the weapons just have 33. 
I mean, they were green and this one was blue, but still. And I'm running out of uh, metal parts again. So that's an issue. But for now, we're going back to rise anyways. Oh, the hammer looks good. I forgot to check if there was uh, any new quests in power. I mean, I will surely get a new quest from Rice, and once he sends me out again, uh, I will see. I will just check in with the tower again and see if there's new quests. Wait, there's some. I flipped over medical truck and a safe zone. I might clear that now. Okay, I can't go in there. Yes! Please, <laughs> 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 the breakdance. Breakdance monster, oh my god. You can't escape me, man. I thought you were dead. Well, technically you are, but you get the idea. Just save it, man. For some reason, that killed her. That was easy and smooth. Um, actually, this sounds really good. for better repairs. And that as well. Throwing or... No, I, I will go for durability. Because uh, this is currently like the biggest issue right now. <laughs> This hammer alone is already halfway down again. <laughs> I have no idea how this guy just knew where I was. Since I wasn't even close when the explosion went off, but uh, it's okay. So, off to rise then, I guess. Chasing me, that's good. <laughs> you don't need that hammer, and neither do I. But I can heal up in the meantime. 
There's two quartermaster symbols nearby, but I think it's the tower, right? I have new packs already, I can bring them in, but... Uh, yeah, I'm obviously not going back to the tower right now. Also, I wonder if I can drop kick big guys, but I'm not trying right now. This might actually be the perfect opportunity to try it. Okay, it just uh, knocks them back a bit. But this will come in handy sooner or later, so... Nice. <laughs> you open the trunk and there's just this one stick in there. <laughs> hey, Greg, I got a second. I want to patch to somebody who really wants to talk to you. Huh? Who? Is this Kyle Crane? Who wants to know? My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Ember. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, <coughs> we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, please, don't hesitate to ask. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, if you have any answers, then let me know then, I guess. Job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that answers in. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. I mean, what did he expect? Like, just getting all the antis in now for fixing one antenna? <laughs> uh, oh, 115 damage. That's huge. But it's also expensive. Oh my god. I'm just going to sell a few weapons. Okay, that goes as well. What does Paladin do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Those weapons. <laughs> Is there like... Uh, can those be two-handed weapons? I don't want to buy a two-handed weapon. I'm getting that blueprint though. Ah, my friend! Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the <coughs> living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? Jafar's place. 
Looks like the good days in Agrabah are gone. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. And after this, he better hand over the drugs. He's not going to do that anyways, I guess. Okay, where is that? Oh, bro. Gotta call mom again. Also, the damn police trucks are always on the super crowded areas. I mean, I get it's on purpose because they can have uh, they can have guns in there, but still. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, crane out. And that again, what did he expect? That they are like, uh, oh no, we denied the survivors the antisen because it's for the greater good and now that I have to collect protection money, which is arguably the, the smaller crime, he expects them to be like, oh yeah, okay, understandable, you don't have to do that. Have a nice day. <laughs> of course not. What? Why? You are lucky to die, man. Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Took you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name Aladdin. isn't important. What's important is that Rice sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off! I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay! Jesus! You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa su casa. Just don't hurt me, alright? I don't like this. Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next you collect the tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. As good as them. Now oh, another toad. Crane, how you doing, mate? I'm running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in it. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon. Brecken is a good guy. <laughs> Well. Okay, so here's the messenger. Oh, wait, there's a police car. 
that's a very good opportunity here. You have to be careful there, because it's so sensitive. Doesn't seem to be on the right side. Ah, there we go. No! <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. Very good hook blade. Seventy-four. Um, you know the cricket bat is about to break anyway, so I will just use this up, and after that I will switch it for the. Don't you dare throwing a weapon at me! What the hell? It just never stops coming. Dude, this is really ridiculous now. How much does it take? Always tank because then there is a uh, virus coming for me again. Are you dead now? Just die, please. Okay, looks dead to me. No. What the hell? Oh, okay. No. Nope. Damn it. Okay, now we got it. I guess subsonic ammo. <laughs> Another one. Okay, this was much easier. Military medkit and a really good hammer. Oh my god, this is a jackpot. In here? Oh yeah. I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. those exploding zombies uh, I already know that stuff from like 
uh, that island. But it always kind of bothered me. I know it's a good thing in terms of gameplay, but this doesn't really make sense at all. Like, how would this uh, explosive creature even come to be? Why, why does it blow up? Makes no sense. It's not like we have combustible uh, substances in our body. Another exploder behind this? Oh no. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, as long as they're not coming, I can still pick those rocks. And I need to heal before they arrive. Oh look, there's this awesome hammer stuff. So they should be here shortly. This is also very weird, like the... Uh, the echo in this tunnel system should be so intense that there is no way the infected could know where the explosion actually happened. <laughs> oh, so this is the door that I wasn't able to open. getting dark but I still want to do this. Lots of the infected are probably behind me. Which is fine. I nearly arrived at the Fisher Fisher village so there I can take cover. There it is. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do some protecting. Let's just wait for the virus then. There it comes. I have already don't make it so hard on this oh my god. Okay, this uh, night situation is currently becoming a problem I think. But I just noticed uh, what's stopping volatiles from getting in there. Okay, there is a UV light, so if one gets in here, I can just take him down. Let's take you on first. I thought I heard an infected. Uh, 
and that yellow eye was sort of like a spotter for the zombies, I think. So is there volatile? There is the volatile. Prom night. <laughs> God damn it, where is he? Okay, he's is he outside? Yeah, he has to be outside, right? Yeah, okay, he's outside. There is one inside. Okay, how do I do this? That volatile definitely needs to leave here. <coughs> Holy hell, I actually didn't know that this was a possibility. Like that one of them can come in here while I'm doing a quest. Okay, he did not notice. He might actually leave now. Oh, he's coming back. So are the screams attracting him? Oh shit! He can't move into the UV light, right? Oh, it's ineffective. Why can't he move in here? Now I got a problem. What's going on? Why is he able to follow me into the UV light? I thought that was their weakness. No, 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 no. Go to the process. How did he see me now? Okay, can he swim? He can't swim. He can't swim. Okay, so he, he tries to go for me that way, but I lost him. Actually, this might have been a good thing because I have the feeling that I lured the volatiles out of here now. So I only need to find the remaining zombies, clear them out. Then it's broke. Uh, then it's over, right? Okay, I got no metal parts, I think. Uh, 
Just hoping it doesn't come back in. Okay, yeah, gate closing. <clears throat> I gotta get that gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside. Exactly, man. Okay, and now it's a safe though. Yeah? Hey, Rice sent me here to pick up something for him. You won't find it here. Not here. Not in this house. Not anywhere around this house. Gersel. Gersel is the one you're looking for. Mm-hmm. Gersel. Where's Gersel? Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You'll draw the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. You Gersel? Oh, you were for Rye's. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more frickin' tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Frickin' gonna kick your ass. Do it, frickin'. Kick his ass. For God's <laughs> sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment. So you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, frickin'. Give me a break, Ayla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh, a real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. How would she know anyways? Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's do. money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. Any guess how those infected got through the fence? Guess. I know exactly how they got in. That masked nut job soared through the husp. Who are you talking about? They call him Gas Mask Man. He lives outside. <laughs> He's crazy in the head. So he wears a gas mask all the time. Like it's going to protect him. And you're sure it was him? One of the guards saw him cut the hasp and run off. Someone's got to do something about that guy. Well, wearing a mask is important, right? Okay, the third pickup. Uh, heal up first. And I also need to craft new stuff. Mm, okay, what is this? Light drop. Um, okay. Okay. Um. I'm I'm a bit torn between vault and health region because I like I did real well in looting and I got uh, lots of gauze and booze for med kits but eventually that luck has to end right Okay, a few med kits. Oh, I just noticed quantity produced two, so that's the reason why I had so many med kits. Um, also, I just noticed I completely <coughs> forgot about challenges. Like, there are some challenges uh, around, and you can perform them to get more survivor points and stuff. It's like these little symbols where there is uh, a boot with with three stars or a few less stars. Oi, 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 oi. There's another one to the left of me. That was close. <laughs> Me 
here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you blood suckers. <clears throat> yeah, don't make the Don't road. shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? He has a point. Okay, Kareem, I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. Want a deal? Yes. The thing is, um... I know that it's, that it's probably quite easy to say in my position, where I'm currently not surviving in a Feel zombie apocalypse. But, in all honesty, <laughs> if I was here, I would actually not help Rise. And if that GRE people, if those GRE people were like, yeah, you gotta do it, because for the greater good and we need stuff and whatnot, like, what do I care? In the end, I have to live with that, right? Like, with the knowledge of what I did, and... I don't know, it just doesn't seem worth it for me. But yeah, uh, I mean, obviously... Oh, I can't see shit. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not worth it, but, uh... I mean, you are actively working on the death of people here by siding with Rice. Oh my god. And I wouldn't want to live with that later on. Oh no. Too slow. Do I have... Oh my god, I have to run all over this place again. But there was another quest I just noticed. You monster! What's the matter? That brute Harun threw my sister Ida out of the village. She's a widow with two children, Yasmina and Jamil. They snuck under the fence to go after their mother. Yasmina came back <coughs> yesterday, but Aida and Jamil are still out there. Please, can you find my sister and nephew and bring them back? I'll do what I can. Where's the girl? In my house. She's hiding from Harun. She thinks he'll throw her out too. Maybe I'll talk to Harun. Yeah, let's fuck him up. Kicking out little girls in the zombie apocalypse, and that's a reason to kill people. What? Where is he? Huh? He's gone. He's not here. Oh. Well, you'd better go find him. Oh my god. That Harun. Where can I find Harun? Yeah, most likely he's under the bridge. That is where most trolls reside. <laughs> Eating fish, it, perhaps. Okay. Wait, what? Where is that?
I'm being stupid right now. Come on, give me the wood waypoint. Oh, okay, it's over there. Yeah, now I get it. Yes, Mina? Hey, I want to help your mom. Can you talk to me? Your mom's in danger. I need to find her. She's gone. She was beaten. Harun says you can't be here once you've been beaten. I'm going to get her to a place that has medicine. They won't make her leave. Now, can you tell me what happened to you and your brother? Me and Jamil went under the fence to find our mom. It took a while, but we found her at the houses behind the tunnel. Only there was a biter there. He beat me, and my mom hit him on the head. You were bitten? Only a little. I tried to get away. <laughs> what did your mom do? She put us in a house, and then she went to look for medicine. When she came back, she told Jamil to wait there, and then she took me to the man. Did he give you medicine? Yes. He said we would both need more, but that me and my mom could stay in his basement as his puppet. Okay. I don't know what he meant, but my mom got scared and hit him and told me to run. So I did. It's all right, Yasmina. I'll find her. Where does the man live? I'm not sure. It's a house with hammers and, and axes. And where's your brother? Jamil is hiding in the house with the red flowers. You're a brave girl, Yasmina, but I need you to stay here a little longer, okay? And keep away from Harun until I get back. Can you do that? You're really going to find my brother and mom? Yeah, you bet I will. Thank you, mister. Okay, so we're going to a house with hammers and axes. And then we're going to take the hammers and axes. And then we're going to use the hammers and axes on some creepy perverted psychopath. Um, but we will do this in the next episode. Uh, this has been going for quite the time now. It's like nearly an hour. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. We made quite good progress this time found some nice weapons and I hope I can see you in the next episode again. Consider leaving a li uh, like and maybe subscribing if you enjoyed what you saw. This was uh, would really help me out greatly. Like so far my channel hasn't been growing that well so every little bit helps and is appreciated. Yeah and that being said have a nice day or evening and see ya.